Imagine growing fresh, juicy strawberries right in your home without soil, that's the magic of hydroponics. It's a modern way of gardening where plants grow in a nutrient-rich water solution instead of soil. Hydroponics offers several benefits. You can grow food anywhere, anytime, regardless of weather or soil conditions. It uses less water than traditional gardening because the water is recycled. You can control the nutrients your plants receive, resulting in faster growth and bigger yields. This comprehensive guide will walk you through the steps of growing delicious hydroponic strawberries at home, even if you're a beginner. Strawberries and hydroponics are a match made in gardening heaven. Hydroponics is especially beneficial for strawberries because these delicate plants thrive in a controlled environment. With hydroponics you can provide consistent watering. Strawberries need regular moisture and hydroponics ensures they get it without the risk of overwatering or underwatering. Optimal nutrient supply. Hydroponics allows you to deliver the exact nutrients strawberries need for healthy growth and abundant fruit production, protection from soil-borne diseases. Since there's no soil involved, hydroponics significantly reduces the risk of soil-borne diseases that can harm your strawberry plants. Choosing the right hydroponic system is crucial for your strawberry success. Here are a few popular options. Nutrient Film Technique NFT. In this system, a thin film of nutrient solution constantly flows past the plant roots, providing them with oxygen and nutrients. NFT is great for strawberries as it promotes excellent aeration and prevents root rot. Deep Water Culture DWC. As the name suggests, plant roots are submerged in a nutrient-rich water solution. DWC is simple to set up and works well for strawberries, but you need to ensure proper aeration to prevent oxygen depletion. Dutch Bucket System Plants grow in individual buckets filled with a growing medium like cocoa, coir, or perlite. The nutrient solution is periodically flooded into the buckets and then drained back into a reservoir. This system is versatile and allows you to grow a larger number of plants. Tower Vertical Systems these space-saving systems allow you to grow strawberries vertically, maximizing your yield in a limited area. They are perfect for urban gardens or balconies. Not all strawberry varieties are created equal when it comes to hydroponics. Here's a breakdown of the best types, ever-bearing strawberries. As the name implies, these varieties produce fruit multiple times a year, giving you a continuous harvest. Popular ever-bearing varieties include Albion, Seascape, and Ever-Sweet, day-neutral strawberries. These varieties are less sensitive to daylight hours and can produce fruit throughout the growing season. Tribute and Tristar are excellent day-neutral options. June-bearing strawberries. These varieties produce one large crop of berries in the early summer. While they don't offer continuous harvesting, they often have larger, juicier fruit. Chandler and Hanyoi are popular June-bearing varieties. Section 5. Starting Seedlings from Seed to System Starting your hydroponic strawberries from seedlings is a rewarding experience. Here's how to do it. First, choose your starting medium. You can start your strawberry seeds in rock wool cubes, cocoa coir plugs, or peat moss pellets. Next, soak your chosen medium in water. This will help retain moisture and create a suitable environment for germination. Then, plant your seeds. Place one or two seeds per starting medium gently pressing them into the surface. Provide warmth and humidity. Cover the seedlings with a humidity dome or plastic wrap to trap moisture and place them in a warm location, around 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the seedlings emerge, remove the humidity dome and provide them with plenty of light. Use a grow light if natural light is insufficient. Keep the growing medium consistently moist but not waterlogged. Finally, transplanting. When the seedlings have developed a strong root system and a few true leaves, they are ready to be transplanted into your hydroponic system. Section 6. Nutrient Solutions – Feeding Your Plants Like all plants, strawberries need a balanced diet of nutrients to thrive. In hydroponics you provide these nutrients through a nutrient solution. Essential Nutrients – Strawberries require macronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, for overall growth as well as micronutrients like calcium, magnesium, and iron for specific functions. Maintaining the correct pH level of your nutrient solution is crucial for nutrient absorption. Strawberries prefer a slightly acidic pH between 5.5 and 6.5, 
Use a nutrient chart specifically designed for strawberries to determine the correct nutrient ratios and concentrations for each growth stage. Regularly monitor the pH and nutrient levels of your solution using a pH meter and an EC, or electrical conductivity meter. Adjust the solution as needed based on your plant's growth and the nutrient chart recommendations. Section 7. Lighting up your garden, the right glow for growth. Light is essential for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light energy into food. Strawberries need at least 6 to 8 hours of direct light per day. However, providing 12 to 14 hours of light can encourage faster growth and higher yields. If you're growing indoors or in a location with limited natural light, you'll need to supplement with grow lights. LED grow lights are energy efficient and provide the full spectrum of light that strawberries need. Hang your grow lights at an appropriate distance from your plants to prevent light burn. The ideal distance varies depending on the type and wattage of your grow lights so consult the manufacturer's recommendations. Section 8. Temperature and Humidity – Creating the Ideal Environment Strawberries thrive in a specific temperature and humidity range. Temperature – Maintain a daytime temperature between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 to 27 degrees Celsius and a nighttime temperature around 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 18 degrees Celsius. Avoid extreme temperature fluctuations as they can stress your plants. Humidity Strawberries prefer a moderately humid environment with a relative humidity of 50 to 70 percent. You can increase humidity by using a humidifier, misting your plants or placing trays of water near your growing area. Air circulation Good air circulation is essential for preventing fungal diseases and ensuring that your plants receive adequate carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Use fans to create gentle air movement around your plants. Section 9. Troubleshooting, Identifying and Solving Common Problems Even with the best care, problems can arise in your hydroponic strawberry garden. Here are some common issues and their solutions. Yellowing leaves. This could indicate a nutrient deficiency, particularly nitrogen. Adjust your nutrient solution accordingly, or consider flushing the system with fresh water and starting with a new solution. Root Rot Root rot is a fungal disease that can occur in overly wet conditions. Ensure proper aeration in your hydroponic system, avoid overwatering, and consider using a beneficial bacteria or fungicide treatment. Pests While less common in hydroponics, pests can still infest your plants. Inspect your plants regularly for signs of pests and take appropriate action, such as using insecticidal soap or introducing beneficial insects. Section 10. Pollination helping your plants thrive. Pollination is crucial for fruit production in strawberries. While some varieties are self-pollinating, others benefit from assistance. Manual pollination. You can manually pollinate your strawberry flowers by gently swirling a small paintbrush or cotton swab inside each flower to transfer pollen from the anthers, which are the male parts, to the stigma, the female part. Airflow. Good air circulation can also aid in pollination by carrying pollen between flowers. Use fans to create a gentle breeze within your growing area. Section 11. Harvest Time – Enjoying Your Bounty After weeks of care and attention, it's finally time to harvest your delicious hydroponic strawberries. Look for strawberries that are fully red, plump, and slightly soft to the touch. Avoid harvesting berries that are still white or green, as they won't ripen properly off the plant. Gently grasp the strawberry by the stem just above the berry and twist it off the plant. Avoid pulling on the berry itself, as this can damage the plant. Section 12. Storing Strawberries. Keeping them fresh and flavorful. Freshly picked strawberries are best enjoyed immediately, but you can extend their shelf life with proper storage. Store unwashed strawberries in a single layer in a shallow container lined with paper towels in the refrigerator. This will help absorb excess moisture and prevent mold growth. For longer storage, hull and slice your strawberries and freeze them in a single layer on a baking sheet. Once frozen, transfer them to a freezer-safe bag or container. Frozen strawberries are great for smoothies, jams, and baking. Section 13. Success Stories – Inspiration from Hydroponic Growers Countless individuals have experienced the joy and satisfaction of growing their own hydroponic strawberries. Sarah, a city dweller with limited space, transformed her balcony into a thriving hydroponic strawberry garden, enjoying fresh berries all year round. John and Mary, a retired couple, found a new passion in hydroponic gardening. 
Their basement now houses a productive hydroponic system that supplies them with an abundance of strawberries. David, a young entrepreneur, started a small business selling locally grown hydroponic strawberries, proving that sustainable and profitable farming can be achieved even in urban environments. Section 14. Conclusion. Your journey to hydroponic strawberries. Growing hydroponic strawberries is an exciting and rewarding endeavor. By following the steps outlined in this guide, you can create your own indoor strawberry haven and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Remember to choose the right hydroponic system, select suitable strawberry varieties, provide optimal growing conditions, and monitor your plants closely. With patience, dedication, and a little green thumb, you'll be harvesting baskets full of juicy homegrown strawberries in no time.